Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Codemaster Hard Rock with another chaotic video. So, I just wanted to make this one really, really quick. I was asked to make a video explaining this ability. Um, a lot of other chaotic players find it to be a simple ability, but, you know, some people don't really know how things work. And you know what? There's no shame in that. So, we're going to be going over the Fluid Morph ability. So, what that means in, in context, let's use Vixpin for the prime example. Uh, so he has the Fluid Morph ability, which means for every time he does a water attack uh, that does damage, he will gain a Magician counter. So, for example, let's say I attack using Riptide, okay? Uh... Since he has the water ability, you know, the water part would go through. So it would deal at least 10 damage, you know, given the, all the requirements. Now, since he does do water damage, it would succeed. Vixbin, as well as any other fluid morpher on your team, gets a magician counter. So for an example, he would get a magician counter. My Dornick would get a magician counter. Nuckworn would get a magician counter. Um, and that's all the creatures in my team that actually have Fluid Morph. Um, so with that being said, that's how that works. Um, it sounds pretty basic on paper, but there you have it. So if you have a creature, uh, let's go back to Dornick, for example, who does have Fluid Morph, and you're attacking a creature using Ani. Let's say Ani were to attack using uh, Rage of Ani, for instance, uh, dealing 20 damage altogether, right? Uh, just base alone. Dornick would get a Magician counter, but not Ani. Ani does not have Fluid Morph, therefore he would not be able to get a Magician counter. But let's say he loses the Water ability and attacks using Rage of Ani. Since I would only do 15, I would lose my water abilities. I technically did not do a water attack. Therefore, Dornick does not get a fluid, uh, or rather a, a magician counter. Um, and some of these are definitely better effects than others when it comes to fluid morph counters and what have you. So with that being said, that's how the fluid morph ability works. Um, this video was rather short, but I did want to explain the ability real quick. Um, you know, it's quick, it's easy, simple to understand. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this explanation. If there's something that I left out, please let me know. Oh, uh, one other thing uh, that I should uh, point out. So, for an example, let's use Inner Flood. Inner Flood has zero water. It has to do damage. The water symbol, you would have had to do damage. So you can juice up your water attacks with something like a Torrent Crimp, giving you water 5. Um, or a Baton of Ani, for example. So you can juice up your water attacks. However, it does not strictly mean... Uh, that you do water damage. So you have to, have to, have to deal water damage. So for example, right here with Invader's Tactics, you can do 15 damage, but with that Torrent Crinth, you could add an extra 5 damage and you get a uh, Magician Counter using Fluid Morph. So there you guys have it. That's how Fluid Morph works. And so you guys have something to look at. Let's look at Ani for a minute. With that being said, that's how Fluid Morph works. I hope that I explain this better than a lot of other people could explain it. Um, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And yes, I am familiar with the Chaotic Tracker app. I'll be doing a video on that as well. I do understand there are some other Chaotic YouTubers who have talked about it. But you know... I want to have my turn. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video where I talk about the Chaotic Tracker as well as link my other YouTube channel because there's something in there that I cannot wait to talk about and share with you guys. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.